Um, I'd like to start by acknowledging the idealism involved in the notion of mass transit. Forget high-speed rail, just mass transit. And I think the idealism is born of the notion that uh, mass transit is a way to enable people to effectively get places for their jobs or recreation and for work. And that's a good thing. That adds to people's quality of life. And additionally, in a state where we rely on cars so much, uh, it helps with air quality. When you look at mass transit systems like the subway system in New York City and others, sometimes they need to be subsidized, and they should be, because there's a lot of demand and a lot of ridership. No one could imagine a city like Manhattan without the subway. So when I lived there, I could get on the subway in the Upper East Side. I could go to Penn Station. I could take the Metrolink down to Washington, D.C. I did that many, many, many times. And I didn't have to have a car. It was great. There are a lot of problems with applying that model, that very real world model, right here in California. And I can tell you that what my constituents in San Diego want, right now today, what would change their quality of life. Dreams are great. You know what would be a real big dream today? would be widen a road, improve the roads. I grew up, my grandparents moved to North San Diego County in 1925. I've grown up there. I've never seen the roads in worse shape. I'm happy to spend money in so-called connectivity if it improves mass transit in places where people use it. That's the lesson of mass transit. I don't care whether I'm taking a train in Europe or a train in on the East Coast. I've crossed the country by train three times. Not a lot of demand for that one. But where there's demand, well, you need to support it. BART works. It works in New York City. It works in Boston. Support it. But it doesn't make sense where people need roads. 